Valentina versus uh yeah. Pelican Hi, is Daisy. pretty good in doubles. I I would say. The main thing to watch out for really is just going to be how much pressure can Ike exude onto the opponent, onto the opposing yeah. team. I'm assuming that Nair, like, not only allowing good combos for Ike, but maybe, like, allowing to follow up for his teammate, too. It's also just going to be good to break up anything. Just land yeah, with it. Yeah, exactly. Be like, all right. Yeah, in the chaos of doubles, you can kind of get away with stuff like that sometimes. Yeah, but on the other team, we have Palutena Wario. Uh, Wario's pretty good, I feel like, in doubles just because he's very mobile in the air and kind of floaty. Yeah, the thing so. is, I feel like Palutena and Wario fill the same niche in that they just want to, like, combo the characters. So you have two combo characters versus kind of like a combo character and a neutral character in Daisy, where she yeah. just wants to control the tempo of the match. And right now, Palutena just going ham on Daisy and trying to isolate Ike, try to get him out early. So, yeah, oh. the, the biggest vulnerability on Red Team is going to be Ike. With his uh, less than still a recovery, but this yeah. is also Nova, meaning that the teleport glitch is still happening. Oh, oh nice back yeah, up smash. That, yeah, that up smash has always been a very good tool in doubles if you, you and your teammate can coordinate it. It's very strong. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if this would change, but I'm sure that the upper half of the move is a little bit weaker than the lower Ooh. half. Ooh, oh, and that's a good counter coming out from Palutena. Gonna and a good up smash to kill Daisy. Yeah. So blue team in the lead. Decent not by percent. Myself. Yeah, but it's decent percent on the Palutena at least. Yeah. And yeah. If Red Team wants to start coming back, they're going to have to focus the Palutena and force her to recover in bad angles to force the glitch and basically get free kills. Ooh, that was... I felt like uh, Prog had the right idea waiting for the uh, waiting for his teammate to be able to follow up. But the mash was coming out, so he yeah. couldn't risk it. Nice back air. Yeah, it's going to take the stock from the Wario. What? Oh, that's, oh. Ooh. Dude, that kill, that would have been crazy. He just kind of did it. Sometimes you, you just gotta throw it out there. Yeah. Right. Player, player four is gonna need to actually step up a bit. Oh, he's got stitch. Oh, but he needs to step up a bit and try to at least force percent. Because it feels like Prog is just doing all the work and he can't handle this two v one. Nice back throw by Palutena. Yeah, hey, it, it, nice dash attack. Oh, that kills. But yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's unfortunate. Killing. Yeah, Probably so a dash up jab to break up the grab would have been better, but. Yeah, they were. Yeah, um. Blue team were trying to set up for something there, but. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so Daisy didn't. See, in that situation, Daisy was in a, a lot of pressure, and so probably had to, like, kind of run in to save his teammate. Yeah. That's just the problem with doubles in general. It's like 2v1s are so strong, especially here now that so many characters have combo tools. Yeah. Now, see, this is where Red Team can shine. If oh. I can put up a... Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The, that's unfortunate. The teleport glitch. Yeah. It's a... I think it's a very... Um, in my opinion, like, it's something that's consistent, so you just have to play around it. Yeah. So, like, it, as long as you, like... It's really because of the jagged rocks. Yeah. It's not a smooth wall, like, let's say, Kalos, where you can yeah. just ride up. Yeah, you just need to practice. And honestly, it's... Oh, oh that wall. was so good. Palutena is down throw, traditionally a very good combo throw for herself. But in doubles, your teammate might have a stronger punish than, like, forward air. <laughs> Yeah. Right, it's, it's still not over yet for Red Team. Yeah. They're, honestly, but, if they can put on some percent on the Palutena and then get like a double kill, that'll turn this situation into a 2v1 for their favor. Save needs to. Ooh, nice forward air. Now, they need, the thing is, they need to keep up the pressure. All right, so Wario's gone. Yeah. They really need to. It. They need to like focus on the Palutena right now, Red Team. Like that. And, they're, oh, and this is a 2v1 situation. See the big great wall of Ike uh, of Ike aerials. That's the main thing. Ooh, nice forward air. Fifty-one yeah, percent. That, that it's still doable for Wario. I, I mean, he doesn't have loft. He just used it. So it depends on how long he can stall it out. Ooh, nice Ooh back okay. I like these team combos. They're not like they're not super long, but they're just getting percent and like uh, they don't need they don't need like a super long team combo right now. They can afford to just like yeah. nickel and dime him. Ooh, the nice parries. parries but Oh, dude. I feel like Wario's just stalling out until he finds a good... Uh, nah, there it is. Oh, another good parry coming out this, from Wario. Now, this is a scary 1v1. I, I believe Wario's probably Corona. Nope. Uh, 
uh, late hit dash attack. He's gonna let him back on. Yeah. Dude. Now, the, now the, here's the struggle between both these characters. Both their aerials wall each other out so well. Yeah, but the difference is Ike's, oh, there, oh, yeah, Ike's Nair will confirm, but it might be a little too late. Too much percent and too much rage. Yeah. Now this is going to be Battle of Stray Hits. Oh, oh that nice. is it. Wow. Got a really deep Nair, not a shallow hit that would have uh, made it uh, hard for him to follow up. Yeah, yeah, I have to as say, you can see on the screen, uh, Prog doing a lot of the heavy lifting in that uh, match. Yeah, he won the one v one in the end. So I, I will say, I think Daisy or I think Peach is better than Daisy. Like not in like the game, obviously the mm -hmm. same, but like personal preference. But I will say that the costume that uh, um, that Player Four is using right now is a really good Daisy skin. I, I like the black gloves. Yeah, it, the black is good. Yeah. yeah. The color, co the color counter picks. Yeah. Are super important. You want all hungry? Oh lord! Sure. Uh, now maybe we can finally get the bracket set up. Yeah, Wi-Fi well, here is a little, well, eh, but oh, look at hungry dancing over there. Double bracket seems to be moving along just nicely. So, oh, that's a quick uh, 2-0 from Odyssey and Utopian Ray over Diamond and Hung. Yeah. Um. So. For this match, uh, where do you think what do you think the band should be, and what do you think the? the I would say that the characters that uh, mm, see, I would have said FD to go to instead of Town and City, mostly because you want to eliminate the landing. Oh, Chrome! We're seeing a switch from Warrior to Chrome from uh, Corona. Yeah, Krom not going to have like nearly the same aerial mobility, but still a threat in the air. Most of his aerials are very strong. And they want they wanted a direct well. answer to Ike. Yeah. That's, that's the, yeah, that's, I, yeah, that was I, I the agree. Swap. Politana wasn't, uh, was getting too uh, caught up with Pete, like Daisy here. Yeah. So they just want to isolate the swordsman with the swordsman. And then the lovely lady, he's battle it out. Yeah. And I mean, that's what's happening right now, and it's already showing like, um, it's already been really uh, working out for the blue team. It's just a race of can uh, Pete, uh, can Daisy uh, kill off uh, Palatina before Krom can uh, kill off Ike. Oh, that was a good pickup from um, uh, Zone. Okay, so you're going to be seeing a lot of target switching from the blue team because they're going to be abusing the great uh, aerials and, air mo and mobility of uh, Krom to just move in and out of the battlefield. Get a hit, move back to the other target. Get a hit, keep going yeah. back and forth. What, what it seems like right now is Corona is being the aggressor with Krom, and uh, Zone's just sort of playing like a support role where if he realizes that maybe Corona missed the punish or something, he'll come in to sort of he'll disrupt and reset yeah. the situation, or he'll keep um, or he'll keep player four out. While, this, while Corona just tries to 1v1 the Ike. Good oh, oh, that was a good back air. Good answer back. Now, both the ladies <laughs> are a deep percent. Uh, oh, Lou. Okay. Bit of a slow reaction on oh, trying to break up that combo. <laughs> I love that forward throw kick. Can he not only kick Palutena, but he also just kicked Krom away. Oh, nice back air. Again. Zone showing up with these back airs right now. Palutena. Nice explosive plan. Oh, oh, I came in like a speed and bullet. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. friendly fire. That's one of the when I play Palutena doubles, personally I don't like using an explosive flame, just simply because of the fact that you might hit your teammate by mistake. Ooh, nice up till on Ike to finally clear Palutena's stock. This is still an even game. Like if we look nice at the percent, smash. like it's pretty comparable. Oh, I like that explosive flame to try to catch Ike's side B, but it's, it's like really fast, Ike, so it's hard. And Krom back here to clean up Ike's like uh, Ike's stock. It's so Ooh. hard to talk and follow the action. That's yeah, that was gonna be pretty chaotic. Oh, got too close to the sun right there. I like that expression. See, short like freaking fast fall there on shield is just so good for Daisy. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, jab. Or throw away. Yeah, yeah, that that was good. 
Now, right now, Zona is, oh, goodness, cleaning the house. Yeah. So, definitely, they've established the rules. Zona's going to be stock tank, and Corona is just going to be... Yeah, the aggressor. This, just DPS. Yeah, exactly. And they're doing a fairly good job of it. Oh, that's Ooh, just a good nice. explosive flame to cover the teammate. Oh, I think he might be dead. Oh, no, Not he had yet. a jump. Back oh my goodness, that back air was enough. Probably bad DI. I wasn't expecting right, We're going to see uh, player one in the 1v1, uh, the 2v1 this time. Is that going to be it? No. This stage does have and higher blast zones than it did in Smash 4. He's got three stocks to one. This is going to be a very hard up. Uh, yeah. Nice back air, but it's... It is, this is kind of rough. This is just back. If you can Gimp Chrom, you have a decent shot. Yeah, but like at this point, like... Yeah, and both these characters have such good kill moves, especially from their teammate, that I feel like Player Four just has to play in a sense where he can only get hit like maybe by trade or get nickel to dime. He can't really like get grabbed or anything. But I feel like this team's gonna have the grab combos on lock. Ooh. Oh, that was a read. That was such a good call out coming from zone. That yeah, counter. It yeah, and that covered also get up attack in case uh Wanted yeah. to try to do anything. They didn't even miss. Though. Like his teammate was right there. So if JT did anything like super, com or no, player four did anything super committal to try to punish the counter, like Chrome right get... there, you need that F smash. Not even F smash, just dash attack. Yeah, really like anything. You gotta like, you gotta did a random number thing. I'm like, eh, what am I gonna pick? Oh wow, uh, uh, the three the three day boys, Goffin and Rafe, oh, they... take it over Ling Ling and Straw Hat Luffy. Ooh, let's go. Three. Who do you represent? Will you consider that an upset? Because it is Ling Ling. Yeah. Team I was about to say Wolf on our back tie. Yeah. And it looks like Red Team is going to stick with the same game plan. Corona is just going to be DPSing the entire match. Zone is just going to be backing him up and yeah. stock taking. And we're going to Battlefield, and this is going to basically be who's the better swordsman. Except player four can also have better influence with her better mobility over the platforms than Palutena can, especially with the way Zone's been playing. Yeah, I don't know. Palutena does, does have like the warp cancels. On she has stage. like she has the tools, but has Zone been using those tools? Yeah, I don't. Well, that's the thing. That's true. I don't know if Zone has like the warp cancels like unlocked on this stage, but. I mean, they're not that hard. Oh! Ooh, that was such good shield pressure. I would have taken. I would have taken the freaking shield break, but I don't even think that would have shield no, broken. No, that, that was a stab. Yeah, I think his forward smash shield poke there. Oh that was very good God. coordination from the from the blue team. And that. It definitely looks like a. Ooh, okay. Frog and a uh, player four have not really uh, adjusted. To yeah, the, to, to the, the really game plan. The, yeah, mainly the change in the blue team's game plan from the comp, the crom pick. What a parry! And because the two hits were in close succession, it auto parried both of them. Oh, that was a nice. good grab combo coming out from the red team. Grab to up tilt, but yeah, keep them in place. You still got to deal with this uh, rage crom, who's going to just be spamming hit boxes all over the place. And you oh really wow, that hit him from behind. If it was if it was the other way around, Crom or Ike might have been in some big trouble. Nice toad and get up attack. Yeah. So it, it really looks like JT Prog needs to be more aggressive here. He needs to confront Corona in this matchup. Yeah. He's trying to he's playing too passive while his partner is also playing passive and can't really approach. Whoa, okay, that boxes. was Oh, that was weird. Dude, and oddly That's enough, Chrom is still alive. Oh, oh yeah. You can space Chrom's upbeat to the point oh, where like no, certain counters won't get a hit you. Yeah, Chrom's wait, like... The, wait, what happened with him? Uh, I think he just didn't teleport, didn't just go far enough. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Dude, Corona is like... He turned into the South Kink and he's also still DPS. He's just like bodying everyone right, right now. Darius over here with like six items. Please stop. The player four can't even breathe on that platform. And like Prog doesn't even want to get in. Because a good combo is going to lead to an edge guard situation. Yeah. 
If anything, oh. I would say like Peach would be the character to go off stage, and I could just try to like hold the fort on stage. Oh, nice teleport across it. What you guys doing here? Nice forward throw. Oh, that that attack is not safe. They, right, they, they, need an, they need an answer yeah. for this Krom, and they need to do it now. Yeah. First thing they got to do is they got to kill off Paltina since she's the easier target. Force that... Uh, the 2v1. Force the stock take. Because I'm pretty sure Corona does not want to do a 2v1. No matter how high their percents are. Yeah, I mean... This, is, this game, like... Red Team like kind of brought it back a little bit. I still feel like Blue Team still has most of the control during throughout most of the match, but like... Everyone's at high percent. If Red Team oh, gets two it. quick kills, oh my goodness, and they force a two v one. Daisy barely survived. Oh, that, that kick again. Oh. oh, oh no, no. that's unfortunate. Player okay. four accidentally killing his teammate. It's not looking good for Red Team. Yeah. And he he just doesn't. Oh yeah. Yep. That was so smart. Peach only or Daisy only had one option to use up B, so they just countered it. And Corona in zone, take it over Player Four and JT Frog. Yeah. Gonna Just the pressure from Corona this entire set after swapping off of the Wario was really the difference maker. Mm -hmm. Red Team just had no answer. All right. Red Team